Hey, my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. And today I have a kind of combination of a few different thrift hauls here. They were all on the smaller side. So I figured I'd just do one big video of them. Um, this first bag here I got at Crossroads in New York City. It's a buy sell trade store. I know they have a couple in the city, but I think they also have some in some other places um, besides New York, uh, but it's not like as popular as Plato's Closet. Um, so I picked up five things. I did pay up for them and um, these are all listed so I don't have the price tags on them, but I think I kind of know what I paid for them, um, but they were all listed for well over a hundred dollars. So this is Lululemon, but it is the lab from Lululemon, which I don't exactly know what that means, but it is a more expensive line of their stuff. So this is a jumpsuit. It almost has, it has like, kind of reminds me of like men's golf pants, the material, but it's kind of like a unitard style and it has this elastic on the back. Um, this retailed for I think $188. Um, I paid 22 or something like that for it. Um, but I have it listed for 120 And then this is a dress. Um, the brand is Syncacept and it is a midi dress. It's kind of a interesting piece in that it almost looks like a two piece with this like slip. It's one piece and it's all connected. There's almost like a slip dress and then it looks like it's tied in the front and then it's long and then in the back it almost looks again like the top is a separate piece but yeah it's all one piece um they did not have this marked up i think i paid under 30 for this and it retailed for like three something um i don't remember exactly what i have it priced at but that'll be here um so that was always that's always a great brand to find. Then this one, they absolutely did not know the brand, which they definitely are better at knowing brands than like Plato's Closet. But this is a Lexus and they had it marked as being a Lexi. So like they definitely didn't have it in their system under the right brand. So it didn't realize how much this was, but it is new with tags with an Intermix tag. Intermix is kind of like Revolve where they sell a whole bunch of different brands, but it is the Paula dress and it retailed for $3.95. And it's definitely kind of out of season now, but it's so cute. Um, so that was a really fun find. And then this is Ula Johnson. And the only time I've gotten Ula Johnson was from a Thread Up box. Um, so I was excited to find this. It is sheer, but it's not missing a slip or anything. This is what it actually looks like. Um, it's really cute. This has a whole bunch of likes already. Um, I haven't been telling you sizes, but these are all listed in my closet. This is a six. Um, this one's a large, I believe. The sink dress is a six. And this is a six too. And the last thing from Crossroads is so exciting and it is Love Shack Fancy. And this style is the Obelia skirt and it retailed for $5.95. And it is new with the tags. It is a full length skirt. Um, it has a whole bunch of different textures and patterns. It kind of has a little train and it actually has a bustle which is so interesting for a skirt like this but um i have had love shack at the top of my um bolo list of like wish list brands to find now, i don't know if this counts as thrifting since it's obviously a curated store but it's not like i bought it retail arbitrage or anything so i was so excited i paid up for this at a hundred dollars but i have it listed for over three, um, I should still be able to double my money on this. And 
even if I come just close to that, I'm just really excited to have it in my possession. Then I have some things from Play-Dohs, which is obviously um, also a buy sell trade store. And um, I have five things from there here and then one has already sold. So this um, sold in like a, less than a day. It's a Barefoot Dreams sweater. Um, I think it sold for 35, I'll have it here. But uh, it was new with tags. They had it for 10, which um, for a new with tags piece was great. Um, and I actually had 20% off, so it was eight. So um, I used my points this day. So this is from Play-Dohs, which is wild. So this is Veronica Beard and it's a medium and it is a jumpsuit. So it's like a full denim jumpsuit. And like I said, it was brand new. However, it has on like the back of the knee, it looks like it got stuck on something or pulled, but um, I just noted that and I think it will still sell, especially since it's denim, it's not the end of the world, but um, I think this retailed for $4.98. So someone's gonna get a steal on this jumpsuit with that little flaw. And Play-Doh's only had this for $20. So I don't understand their logic sometimes with stuff. They had, you know, Madewell jeans for more money than that. Speaking of, here was some Madewells that I picked up because these were 50% um, off. So these are the baggy straight jean and they had these listed for 20. So I paid 10. So these Madewells were the same price as that $500 jumpsuit. Um, and then this was also 50% off. This is obviously Lily Pulitzer. It is, I think the Jackie shift dress um, and it's 100% silk. And this was $9, 50% off of 18 size extra small and I do find Lily at this particular Play-Dohs I'd say 50% of the time that I go which is nice um because I don't always find it at the other store or pretty much never find it there and then I got this pair of shoes and they had these in the women's section but I'm pretty sure that they're men's they're kind of like a chuck -a boot style and these are all saints um which is incredibly high-end, nice shoes. Um, there's my receipt. But I think these were, let's just say. Um, yeah, they had these as women's casual leather shoes and they were 18, so with the discount I paid 14.40. Um, they're men's size 41. And they're definitely men's because they're way bigger than like a 41 which is what I would wear and they would be huge on me so those were a cool find and then the last thing from that store was these sneakers so I picked them up because they kind of looked cool enough you know for me to take a look at and then the brand was 2000 never which I had never heard of um but I could tell that they were actually suede and they are women's seven and the only place i could really find this brand is instagram so i'm not a hundred percent sure what the deal is with these but um i paid 16 for them they retailed for just about 200 i feel like they're a really cool style there was a handful of them on poshmark but they're definitely more of a like lesser known brand but i wanted to give these a shot then I have some stuff from a regular Goodwill and I haven't been in this Goodwill in kind of a while because I you know, wasn't having great luck there. And then um, I stopped in looking for something in particular and had a fantastic day. So the shirt that I'm wearing is actually from there. And then I kept um, like five other pieces. So I found a massive amount of new with tags talbots in around my size um so i kept i think this sh shirt and then four sweaters um and then there's a whole bunch more in here but this was on top so this is 
Le Jeans, I think is how you say it. They are a skinny jean. I have this exact pair of jeans listed. Um, they are a great brand. However, like these are just a black jegging, so not the best piece, but um, I paid $6 for these. My Goodwill, the prices are like fixed. So um, all pants are $5.99, jeans are $7.99, um, dresses are $9.99. Tops are $5.99, shoes are $10.99, or $9.99. So this is a dress that is, the brand is Leaf Notes, which is Anthropology, which isn't necessarily an anthro brand I would pick up all the time, but I thought the style of this was so cute. So it's a maxi dress. It has some mesh here and then mesh towards the bottom. Um, but I feel like white dresses do really well. Now it is fall-ish now, but um, I don't mind sitting for a little bit on that. And then this is a brand called Unique Vintage. And this is a 2X, but I couldn't get it anywhere near fitting me and I am not normally a 2X. Um, so this definitely runs really small, but it's kind of a brand that's known for making pinup style clothes and I've sold one other piece from them. Um, it is new with tags, but I was not able to find any images of this one or even more than just one other one for sale. So I haven't listed this one yet and need to do a little research on it. Um, but hopefully list this for around 50. And then this one is ALC, which is a great brand. It doesn't necessarily um, resell as amazing as the cost of it is, but I thought this piece was really cute and good for fall. So it's kind of this paisley type print. And then the skirt is like a little two layer skirt. I really liked that piece. And then this is Rails. They are known for their flannel shirts, um, but this is a little dress. I've sold this dress in blue before. This one is pink. Um, it has the name um, in here usually. This is the Angelina, so grab to that one. And then some more Veronica Beard. Um, these are the Caroline baby boot. Um, I've sold these in a couple different colorways. This one is black with gold. I've sold like the regular denim with red stripes. Um, so these would have been six dollars and then I don't remember what I listed them for. You'll see it here. The one other pair of jeans are these and the brand is R plus I think it's R13 is what it actually stands for. I believe these are men's jeans. I don't think I have these listed yet. Um, they are a slim fit. I think they retail for like $200. They're pretty nice. Um, size 34. Um, they even had in here like the inseam, which is nice. Um, so yeah grabbed these and then i think the rest of this bag stuff is the talbots stuff so this i think all of this except maybe one pair of pants that ended up being half off um is new with tags so these are a size 16 and these are velvet and they're kind of a little bit more of like a wider leg um, velvet, they're not like a jegging. Um, these were $6 and they were 140 originally. I have sold, now you might think like, oh, Talbot's meh, but especially the newer tags and the bigger size stuff, I do really, really well with. So if you come across it, definitely consider picking it up. Some of my stores do price it up a little bit more, but, um, the Goodwills don't. So 
These were the only ones that were not new with tags. Um, these are like a little blue pinstripe, size 16 petite. Um, and these were 50% off, so I only paid like $3 for those ones. And we have these brown pants. They are the Newport style. And these retailed for a hundred. I know I have some of this listed, not all of it yet, but these are a pair of jeggings in like a true bright red. Um, these ones retailed for 70. So I was like, what the heck happened that this lady had this much stuff new with tags and most of it's from within like the last three years so did she buy it all and then like never went back to work or like i don't know it just seemed crazy to me that there was this much new with tag stuff so these are a corduroy and they're the highway straight leg and these were 90. and then these are the jegging again but these ones are a burgundy color and then these were with them so I grabbed them um, I don't always pick it up but these are Chico's I grabbed them since they too were new with tags and these are just a navy pant and then last is a sweater and this is the only sweater that I didn't keep um, from this pile of Talbot stuff um, because it was a petite and I just didn't like how it fit me. So this one was $100. And there was also a dress that already sold too. Um, I think it sold for $35 or something like that, but within like two hours. So that was awesome too. Okay, then this haul is from the store I go to on Wednesdays a lot when they change their sale colors. It means everything but the most recent color is 50% off in the store. Um, and Wednesday is the day they change it. So it's the day you're most likely to find the best stuff. Um, I grabbed this little Lily Pulitzer wristlet. The print is Southern Charm. It's one of my absolute favorites. Um, I believe this is more so when like your phone could fit in here. So it's definitely a little older. Like this would fit you know, like an iPhone 4 or something like that. But it was in super good shape and I figured someone might still want it as a wristlet and you just wouldn't keep your phone in here. You could put, you know, money or something else in there, a lip gloss, whatever. So I grabbed that for $3. And then I found quite a, a few Madewell jeans today. These are the Stovepipe in a 25 Petite. I paid $6.50 for these. I've sold the stovepipe a few times. Um, I love to sell Madewell jeans. I've sold so many at this point that often I don't even have to um, like look it up and create a new listing. I can just copy one that I already had. And then there was two pairs of these, but these were in much better shape. And the brand is, I think it's Blanky. And they are maternity leggings. And I've sold them a couple times um they sold really quickly the last time I had them and I was hoping to get both because someone would probably buy both of them but um the other ones the crotch was a little too worn so six dollars on these polo shirt for my husband um I found two lily dresses today which is always my favorite as you know this one was 6.50 and it's a little bit of an older piece not that old but I'm gonna say this is like 2014 it's 2013 um, and this one is a white dress with like a daisy lace and some little beads in some of the daisies really cute would be a great little graduation dress or we had to wear white dresses for sorority um, like ritual stuff, so this would have been cute for that too. Um, I paid six fifty for that if I didn't say that. And then this was the other Lily dress, and I 
have this dress in a different print. Um, this one I paid $20 for. It's a large, um, but it's very recent. So it's this yellow print and it's a wrap dress. It's really stretchy. Um, it's a very comfortable dress. And I knew that it's within like the last two years, 2022. So um, I think I should be able to get close to a hundred for this, I think, honestly. Um, so I was fine with paying $20 for that. And then this is Anthro. And there's a couple Anthro pieces that I left behind today that were really nice, but just based on the price, there's this really cool denim blazer from Pilcro. And there was this like maxi dress from Maeve, but they were just a little more than I wanted to pay. This one was only $6.50. It's from like the Buy Antho brand and it's an extra large. I thought it was kind of a funky design with some smocking at the neck. So thought that one was cool. Hopefully the stock image is cool on that one. This is another pair of Madewell jeans. These are the perfect vintage jean, which is probably one of my favorite styles to sell from them. These are just a 24, so they are small, but this is a great style. I've sold it, I don't even know how many times. And these were $8 and they weren't even 50% off today. That was, green was the not sale color. And then these are Anthro 2, and I paid eight for these. And it's a pair of overalls from Pilcro. They are like a gray wash kind of, but a really cool style with these thin straps. I thought they would be really fun for fall for somebody for eight bucks. I will grab those. And then some more, oh, these are not made well. These are Abercrombie and they are the 90 straight ultra high rise. And they have the like asymmetrical button, which is really popular. These I paid 10 for, hoping to get over 50 for these. I know these are a very popular style from them. I've sold them once or twice before too, so. Those should do really well, and I think they'll be a quick sale, especially as fall is coming. And some more jeans. These ones are made well again. These are all um, not the vintage ones. These are the high rise slim crop boy jean in a 25 petite. I paid $6.50. Lighter wash, a little distressed. I don't know if I've sold this style before, honestly. Probably have, but it's not one I come across nearly as often as some of the others. And then another Madewell. These are the perfect vintage crop jean in a 25. So I'm guessing a lot of these were from the same girl. Um, I paid $5 for these. These were on the floor and I noticed them. And then I think the last pair of jeans these are actually Gap, and they are the high rise wide leg crop. And I grabbed them because I saw they were new with the tag. I thought the style was really cool, kind of 70s vibes. And then I checked because Gap usually has a date tag in it, and they are from summer 2023. So it is September 2023 currently. So someone bought these in the store like two months ago, never wore them and already donated them. So I figured since these were so current, I don't always pick up Gap stuff, but um, these are probably one of the most recent things I've ever found in the thrift store. So, um, and then this is the only kids piece I got today. And this brand is Molo and they make some crazy stuff. So this is a horse girl dress. Um, it has a big horse on it. And then this is like stripes and f like cherry blossoms. Um, their stuff is usually got like big images on it. They almost sometimes look like they're from like, you know, China brands or like Amazon. Like they, 
they don't necessarily look like a very expensive brand, but they are. I paid $6 for this, probably get around $30 for that, which is great for a kid's piece. And then these are some figs, and they are maternity figs. Figs is a very expensive scrubs brand. Um, it is, as far as I know, the most popular scrubs brand. It's the only one I pick up at least. Um, these are a large in the maternity style. So I think these will do great. I only paid $2.50 for them. The last piece of clothes, and then I have some shoes, is this women's tuxedo style blazer and it is velvet and it is so soft and stunning and this is Stella McCartney um so I paid $35 for this which is definitely paying up however the comps looked like I should get over 200 for it I did not see any of this specific one in my quick search listed um but I think this will do amazing. It is the perfect season for it. Um, and I think this retailed for somewhere around $800. So paying $35 for it is great to me. Um, and then the shoes. Oh, I lied. There's, yeah, no, there's no more clothes. Okay. These are a brand that I have loved to pick up. They are a leather loafer and the brand is birdies i've never come across anything that isn't a loafer from them but there definitely could be um other styles i'm sure there are but um these are i've found mules and loafers but these i paid ten dollars for they've sold quick every time i've had birdies and i think these will do really well too today was a really good shoe day for me and shoes if you watch my videos are not something that we always have the best luck with here. So these are not wrapped properly, but they'll be like an ankle wrap little sandal. And the brand is Clergy. I think it's Robert Clergy is the brand. Um, they kind of have like a rounded heel, really cute. Um, you can see on the bottom, like it's a really unique shape. Um, his stuff is usually pretty like funky and avant-garde type style these are 39 um, and i paid ten dollars for those these are some kids sorrels um i love to sell sorrels especially the kids snow boots because the stores usually don't price them very high and then they sell great um the season is approaching for snow boots um i paid five dollars for these i've sold this style a few times before probably get um, somewhere between 30 and 40. And then these were not a brand that I knew, but the style seemed interesting enough to look up. And I don't know how you say Guridon, New York. So they're a leather shoe, leather sole. I liked the kind of almost like Mary Jane type style on them. These were a 39, um, all leather, very dark academia type, which is very popular in fall. Um, I don't remember the comps, hopefully I have them listed. And then last but not least is these crazy shoes and they're in such good condition. And they are Jeffrey Campbell for free people. And they are called the Hendrix shoe. Like even the bottom, very little wear. Um, these are size six. And I like to sell Jeffrey Campbell stuff, but Jeffrey Campbell for free people, even better. Um, I think I should get over a hundred for these. And I paid 20 for them because they weren't on sale. But once I, I looked these up and saw that I should get over a hundred, I decided to grab them since they were so fun. So Thank you for watching my haul. Um, that was a lot of different things, but some really, really exciting brands. Um, and let me know what your favorite was. If you're looking for anything, hopefully it is listed on my Poshmark. And I'll see you next time.